Oh, he's got TNT. That's not good. That's actually bad. Okay, we <laughs> we killed him. This is bad news. No! Uh, okay, we're gonna have to clutch this game. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of my beginner's guide to Hypixel Bed Wars. The Low Star series. Now today we're going to be talking about one of the most important aspects of Bed Wars. Some might, may argue that it's more important than others, but this is defense. Now in Bed Wars, I always say offense is a good defense, but sometimes when people are really good at the game, they manage to get to your base and you have to defend your bed. And so I'm going to be teaching you a couple of my favorite bed defenses that you can make pretty much right off the start. And I'm going to be showing you in game. So let's get to the first one. Okay, so this first bed defense is going to be the simplest. We're just going to wait for about 16 iron, grab all of our blocks here. This one's pretty easy. Just one layer of wool around the whole thing. Pretty cheap, easy to make, very effective for, uh, for solo bedwars, and we fell. Looks like our opponent is putting down wood and wool. We'll get to some wood wool defenses pretty soon. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, sure, Gap, if you want. We're gonna block ourselves in. So he has to break through some some of our own counter defenses. Okay, another one bites the dust, I guess. He's got a bow! Good, he's he's out. Buy some protection real quick. Oh, he's gonna fist us. Not cool, buddy. I'm not not a fan of that. Oh my gosh, we have so many. We have ten fireballs. This is a little bit ridiculous. Great Lord of Fire. <laughs> no. Yeah, no way that's that's happening. No, that's nice try. This is another wood wool bed defense. We're gonna show this guy how it's done. Whoa! Which way do you think you're going, buddy? Oh, jeez. Woo! That was a close one. He's running back to his base. He's scared. What? This isn't my first Bed Wars game, buddy. Yes, it is. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Another thing you can do if you want to be able to break people's beds faster is you can buy a Maniac Miner. Um, let's just go completely overkill get Maniac Miner too. Okay, made, made quick work of that. Whoa! This guy's a legend. He's actually destroying us. We still beat him though. GG. Oh look, we went up a level. Right, you didn't really get to see how our bed defense worked. Um, but trust me, it's a good one. Hey, this game really wants me to play on Apollo because that is, um, I tried queuing this game three times and Apollo was every single one of them. So we're gonna show you the next bed defense. Um, this one is called the hot dog defense and I'm gonna show you in a second once I get four gold. Now I don't usually use this defense in solos. I don't think it's that good, but you buy um, some wood and some wool, place two blocks like that, four on the sides and then four on top. And then you place a little, little bun over top of that hot dog. You see that? That's the hot dog defense. Oh no. What? Oh, he's got TNT. That's not good. bad okay we <laughs> we killed him oh my gosh yellow's almost here the heck no oh shoot that's not good bad news no uh okay we're gonna have to clutch this game as you can see that wasn't the most effective defense in my opinion We're just gonna leave. We managed to get his bed, and that is more than enough for me. Oh! No! 
No, we died. That's too bad. All right. The reason I'm not a huge fan of wood and wool defenses is because you can fireball them pretty easily. So for this game, we're going to use an endstone defense. So you buy some endstone, 24 iron, buy some blocks, and I like to place the endstone like so. And then, you know, you can either cover the defense or do whatever you want. Oops. Something like that. That way it's just a little bit harder. And we see that he has defense too. Now, you can get TNT and blow through it pretty easily, but a fireball is not gonna do it. Fireball is not going to cut it. Okay, we got him. Got the bed. Okay, so you can see endstone has its weaknesses, but it can't be broken by fireballs. And if you only have a tier one pick, endstone usually takes a little while to be able to break. This is why the roll defense isn't that good. Oh, we got diamond armor. That's crazy. Oh shoot, buy your bed. What do you mean my bed? Don't you mean your bed? Oh, he's got speed. Oh, he's going in right, right in for it. Oh, he's so, so low. Okay, he might get our bed, but he probably won't make it out. What is he doing? Does he not have... Buy your bed. Buy you. Get out of here, kid. Oh, you're on fire. That wasn't much of a fight. Whoa, that was it. What did I get? Revenge. Kind of kill the player that destroyed your bed. That's funny. And stone defense, pretty great. Okay, this next bed defense I like. One of my favorite YouTubers, his name is Apples. He uses this bed defense a lot. This is a wood and wool defense as well, by the way. Place. Place it like that. Oops. I messed it up. But it's supposed to look something like that. Oh, he's cheating, 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 I see that, I see that. Why are you closing for 8 FKDR? That's a good question. He actually got a diamond sword. Do not fight me, no. You idiot! Oh my gosh. Did Aqua get banned? I think he did. Wait, that's actually so good. Little cheater. Guys, no match for us. We won. We beat the cheater because he got banned, probably. Bed Wars Killer. Let's go. We have 25 finals now. Okay, this next bed defense is kind of expensive. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to rush our guy first. And then, and then I'll make the bed defense. We're going to put the first layer down. So what you do is you buy 16 glass. I'll show what to do that in a second. So you put this down here like this. And then this bed defense becomes extremely ENT resistant. Now you can do whatever you want with the last two glass. I'll just keep them here in case someone breaks it. Glass is really expensive. It's like 12 iron for four blocks. So it was not the most uh, efficacious of... Oh, geez. It's a good thing we're great at W tapping, huh? Now, the reason that this bed defense is really good against TNT is that... Um, usually TNT can't break more than one layer of, of endstone at a time. So you see the sides here are laden with endstone. Um, glass in Bed Wars is TNT proof, so you can't blow it up. This guy did not watch our, our diagonal bridging video. We get a couple first hits on him. Wow. He's got a lot of protection, actually. Let's see if we can just break his bed. Wait, what is he doing? He's putting endstone. Got him. We won. All right. And that is why you put endstone early game and not late game. Okay, we just re reported the cheater from last game. The n this next defense I'm going to show you is somewhat effective, but it's kind of fallen out of favor with me a little bit recently. This is a variation of the butterfly defense. You just put wood on the 
the side, except for instead of glass. And you can just put more stuff there if you'd like, or more more blocks there. The one weakness that this bed defense has is that you don't need both types of tools. To break it, you just need a pickaxe. And if you get like a gold pick, there's not much that this defense will do for you. Okay. What? He's still alive? Wait, he's insane! He's insane! Come on. Sweaty boy, let me tell you. Okay, half a heart. Don't think he has... You really think I... I didn't know you were there? Yeah, you go that way. So he's got end stone and water. Now he placed the water over that so that we wouldn't be able to TNT his defense. So in that case, we're just gonna have to go in with tools. Tier two tools, which each each upgrade costs. Um... Actually, you know what? Why don't we just get tier three tools? He's already out of bed. He doesn't know where we are, but he probably knows that we're invis. Okay. Oh, let's flawless you instead. That was awesome. Um, GG to me. Oh, let's go. Our cheater was banned. That's really good, actually. All right. So we got another defense, which I really like. We're not going to place it quite yet because... Actually, we can place it. We're going to... Be a little bit patient here. We need four gold, lots of blocks and everything. This is the defense that I use in threes and fours. I do like, um, you know, like I'm going to make an end stone defense. I put the wood on top. Uh, put a little front there so people can't block in. And then I put this in the back. Now, this is actually a weak defense from the back because as you can see, all you need to do is break this end stone and you expose the bed. However, if you break it from the front, you have to break not only from this layer and this layer as well, but you have to get to here in order to break break the bed. So it's pretty awesome. He's almost on top of us. Woo! All right, should be able to get this bed pretty easily. Oh my gosh, she's got an iron axe. Oh, that was close. Oh wow. That was really creative. Okay, there we go. All better. Oh yeah, his bed is done so. My aim died. There we go. The last defense I would like to show before we finish is what's called a trick defense. And I'll, sh I'll explain that in a second. We're going to rush this guy. This is what a trick defense might look like. If, if you think somebody's going to break from the front or something, then what you might want to do is hide. Um, oops. Hide the defense like so. Like so. so if they try to break over here, which we're doing slowly. Guess what? The bed's not there. It's hidden. That can work. Um, but again, it really depends on the intelligence level of your opponent <laughs> more than anything. So if I, should anyone choose to rush us, I guess we'll find out how, how this will go. Okay, looks like I was a little bit mistaken about our friend Gray over here. He's not trying to rush. He's just trying to grab diamonds. Look at that. Green built a little bridge out for us. Oh, we just fell. Good thing we landed it. <laughs> all right, we won the game. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to show you the most powerful bed defense of all, and that is no bed defense. If you just rush your opponent before they can even get a chance to defend, then all the power to you. Perfect. See how clean that was? We made light work of him. Of course, we can always add a defense back later if we like. Oh. Actually. Oh, he's got jumpers. What the heck? Okay, 
He's out. Woo! Buddy. GG, we won. See, no bed defense is a good bed defense. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was just me showcasing a couple of the different defenses. But like I always say, offense is a great defense because to be completely honest, if people never make it to your base because you're rushing them so hard, it doesn't matter if you have a bed defense or not because you'll always be able to win. So, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment below and I will do my best to respond. And with that, take care. See ya.